Hello students. In this video, I will demonstrate how to solve a simple waiting line problems. So we're going to focus on single server system where you have one guy who is serving all the customers waiting in the line. So uh, this is problem number nine on page number 488, Marty's Barber Shop. And that's chapter number 11, waiting line models. And we have to assume poison arrival for customers and exponential service times for customers being served. Um, we're gonna do some additional questions here um, that's gonna make this uh, problem more uh, comprehensive. And uh, using the steps demonstrated in this uh, video here, you can solve all the parts of that problem number nine. So we have been given the arrival rate uh, equals 2.2 customers per hour and service rate of mu equals five customers per hour. Now this is the waiting line system where you have one server, one customer being served, and you have four in uh, four customer in the line waiting to be served. So that's a typical waiting line model. But in this case, we have four number of customers waiting, one being served, but in our problem, we need to find. So average number of customer waiting in the queue is given by this formula here. So we're just gonna plug in the values, so equals uh, lambda, square divided by I'm gonna say five times five again minus lambda so uh, on an average 0 0.345 customers are waiting number of customers are waiting in the queue Okay, now this particular problem, just understand that uh, why this is in fraction. Well, you know, this is just to trying to understand the parameters, the characteristics of the uh, waiting line system. Okay, and the data given here uh, is in hours. So that, that might have some bearing on the length of the queue here as well. Okay, so, uh, so on an average, uh, there are 0 0.345 customers waiting in the queue. That's number one. Now we need to find out the average waiting time spent in the queue. So these four customers here, they are waiting. And the next question is how long they are waiting uh, before being served. And that's given by this formula here, which is the length of the queue equals uh, length of the queue is 0.345 divided by arrival rate. So that's gonna give you 0.157 hours. So every customer is waiting 0.157 hours. How oh, that should be equals to times 60, that many minutes. So each customer is waiting in the queue for approximately 9.5 minutes, okay? Okay. So number three here is uh, average time spent in the system by each customer. Okay, now average time spent uh, includes the uh, people who are waiting and then being served. Okay, so it includes the waiting time and the serving time and that's given by this formula here. So we know the waiting time that's gonna be equals to, uh, we can do that in uh, hours uh, plus, one over my service time, which is five customer per hour. Okay. So it's gonna be that many uh, hours, 0.357 hours. Uh, each customer is spending the system, uh, uh, which includes the waiting time and time being served. Okay, so that equals this time 60. So that many minutes uh, is being uh, spending in the system, which includes again the service time the ser uh, and the waiting time. The waiting time is 9.5 minutes. And if you subtract that one from the this number here, so approximately the service time is 12 minutes, right? So this is approximate number, okay?
Okay. So moving on, uh, the next thing we have to find here. is the probability that arrival or arriving customer has to wait for the service. So we have to find the probability of arriving customer has to wait. Uh, so probability is given by lambda over mu. So that's fairly easy. So lambda is 2.2 divided by five here, and that gives you 0.44. So the percent probability that arriving customer has to wait for the service is 44 percent so there is 44 percent probability that arriving customer um, has to wait for the service something something you have to keep in mind now uh, number five here is we need to find the probability that one customer is waiting in the queue and one customer is being served so what does this mean this means one waiting in the queue and one being served so in all there are two customers in the system Okay, so that's what we need to find out. This means that we need to find the probability for having two customers in the system. Okay, and the formula for that is given by uh, P2 equals lambda over mu squared times probability of zero customer in the system. So probability of zero customer in the system is given by one minus lambda over mu. So let's find that one first. So one minus Lambda over mu is 56 percent. So, so the probability that the there are no units in the system equals 56 percent. So, what is the probability that there are two customers in the system is going to be given by equals to I'm going to say. Uh, lambda over mu whole square okay times so i'm gonna say times let's put it on set of parenthesis there times p0 which is probability of having no units in the system so that's gonna be P2 is gonna be 0 0.1084. That means the percent probability that there are two customers in the system is 10.84%. So, so that's, uh, so, the, so we can say that, you know, there are 10.84% chances that you will have two customers in the system. So same thing, okay? Now let's say that we need to find the answer for this question here. What is the probability that more than two customers are waiting in the queue? So first of all, more than two means uh, when you say you say two customer in the queue, two customer in the queue here, which means that three customer in the system. So we, what we want to know is what is the probability that more than three uh, customers are present in the system. So for that, we need to find first out the probability for, you know, zero customer in the system for one customer in the system for two customer in the system for and for three customer in the system and then you have to sum them up and subtract it from one so that will give you the probability of more than two customer uh, waiting in the queue okay so that's the formula also given here so here we're going to say probability of having zero customer in the system we already found this one right so that's going to be simply equal to, I'm just going to pass on this value here. So probability of one customer in the system simply going to be lambda over mu. So lambda over mu, right? Times, I'm going to say here, times uh, zero customer probability of zero customer in the system, that's gonna give you 0.24, so 24.6% chances that you will have one customer in the system, okay? So probability of two customers in the system, I can just copy this one, I guess we found this one here, right? So I'm gonna pass on the reference, this, that's the same thing. 
and priority of three customer in the system. You know what I can do here is I know the priority of one customer. I'm just gonna copy this one just to simplify the process. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna copy. Okay, I'm just gonna use this formula. That's all I need to know. Okay, this formula here, and I'm gonna put it put it here. And I need to make sure that I put raised to the power three here. Okay, and it's better to put another layer of parentheses here just to make things very obvious. And um, it's gonna be 0 0.04 seven percent so uh four point seven percent chance that you will have uh three customers in the system which means two waiting one being served so what is the probability that you have two customer waiting in the queue or which is same as priority of three customer more than three customer present in the system it's the same thing okay and that's give will be given by the uh, one minus the we have to sum up the priority of this thing 0.5 0 0.56, 0 0.24, 0 0.10, and 0 0.04. So you're gonna add those things up here, and that's gonna give you the value of one. I'm gonna say minus. I'm gonna just add these things. Okay, so I should have it started with one equals this uh, plus this plus this plus this here three four okay so so it, it tells you that the priority that there are two customer more than two customer waiting in the queue equals zero point zero three seven which is equals to three point seven percent so there is a three point seven percent probability that you will find more than two customer waiting in the queue or more than two custom uh, more than three customer present in the system okay that's the same thing so this is how you would solve the simple waiting line uh, problems uh, with single server thank you very much for listening